Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's a no makeup day. I've been doing something different with my skincare system. I'm trying to clear my skin a bit. So I've been doing a gallon of water a day and I've also been doing like a skin routine um, slash a facial scrub. So my face, I don't want to put anything on it right now so that I can try to give it a little bit of love so it can love me right back because it's been horrible lately. Anyway, um, today I thought I would just pop in and talk to you guys about what we do for our chore charts slash reward charts slash our major part of our mental math curriculum, I guess you would call it. And it's pretty simple and I thought I would just share with you what we do. It is fairly simple how we do things, but I thought I would share. It took me some a little bit of time and effort before I got this system right, but it works out really well. And actually this ends up being a huge it ends up being a huge part of our math um, practice and I guess curriculum or course of study for math. Um, it's a huge part of our math practice. So these I just thought I would share with you how we do chores and how we do rewards. So this here is our rewards chart. Wait, let me just go to the chores first. <laughs> so my kids are all color coded and this is their chore chart. Um, it's really pretty simple. Uh, there's just every day of the week here horizontally on the chart and then vertically on the chart are all of the chores that they are responsible for. Um, my kids are color coded so my oldest is blue, my uh, youngest boy is green, and my daughter is pink. So it's pretty simple you guys. Um, for whatever day there is, it, there is laid out which chores they are responsible for completing for the day. Um, I used to try and separate the chores as far as like morning chores or afternoon chores, but I'm learning that I, if I just keep it simple and whatever, you know, <laughs> whenever we decide to handle chores during the day, we decide to handle chores during the day and they just know which ones they are responsible for. So obviously setting out PJs is going to be in the afternoon. Uh, setting the table is going to be in the afternoon as well. Um, laundry we do in the morning sometimes and sometimes we do it um, in the afternoon or sometimes even at night. Um, so I'm working on that, but just as long as we make sure to get them done, uh, the hardest part of the chore chart is making sure that I don't take over and do it myself and allow them the space to do it and to do it well. So anyway, yes, on Monday, um, my oldest is responsible for setting the table for watering the garden. Um, this when it's not summer, spring months, we don't do this, obviously. Um, sometimes we have herbs that we keep inside of the house, um, and we also have plants in the house. So um, during the winter months, this is watering the plants on the inside of the house. Um, but then he has vacuuming as well on Mondays. Then my middle son has setting out the PJs, he sweeps, and my daughter helps me wash the dishes on Mondays. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It even has their names right at the bottom here. Cameron is blue, Kendall is green, Savannah is pink. Um, this really visually helps them take charge of what they are doing. And like I said, the hardest part is not taking over myself and doing it and allowing them the space to do it and them only to do it. <laughs> so this is their tour chart. And then the second part of that is their rewards chart. This is like a rewards slash behavior slash chore system. 
and everything is assigned points and that's where the math comes in um, it took me a little while to tweak it and we've added a few things that are not on here but it really is golden the hardest part you guys is disciplining yourself to follow it okay <laughs> Well, first let me show you what we did in the beginning. So, along with the rewards chart and the chore chart, this is how we track their reward points. I started off with one for each of them, and now I just have one that's displayed for Savannah because she's not as great in math um, as the boys are yet, obviously, because she's three. So we still use this one for Savannah, um, but for the boys they do all of the math in their heads and they are really honest about it so I no longer have to keep track of them myself. So up at the top you just have um, rewards points that you can earn. Then the next section is rewards points that you can lose and the last section is rewards you can redeem your points for. So up at the top is, this is how we earn points all day long. When they make their bed, they get two points. When they're dressed for the day, they get two points. When they brush their teeth, they get two points. They help mom and dad, they get two points. They clean up their toys, they get two points. So you get the gist. Um, then we have extras down here. If they had an excellent attitude, they get five points. If they did something that displayed that they were a peacemaker, they get three points. Okay, this is our basic system for the points that they can earn throughout the day. Then when you move down to the second section, these are rewards points that you can lose so when you're hitting you lose two points when you're whining you lose two points most everything here is minus two points but the thing that is a super strict you lose all of your points deal is lying so if you tell um, a lie you lose all of your points that you had for the day because we take that very very seriously and we always want to be open and honest because that is the best way to be so they know that it's very severe when they tell a lie um, they lose all of their points but these are how they lose points throughout the day so for the math portion they are responsible for keeping track of all of their points throughout the week and it's a really great mental math exercise for them at the bottom here this is what you can redeem your points for so 10 minutes on a game or device now we use devices in homeschool that is not included in here when you're using a device and it's for educational purposes that we don't put a restriction on that at all but if you're using a device to play a game of some sort that is not educational that you need points for and also games like on video games um, on the PlayStation or something you, that you also need points for um, a trip to the store to the toy store is 60 points um, an extra five minutes to stay up after bedtime is 10 points a dollar for your spend jar of course that is coupled with your trip to the toy store um, is 10 points a sweet treat is five points and the prize box is 15 points we really haven't done the prize box lately mommy has been a little bit lazy on it so I need to get on top of that but this is basically in general what we mostly use our points to redeem them for for Savannah um, this is what I'm using for her so each day uh, we total up the points she puts a mark for each of the points that she receives on that day and we do this all the way up through sunday and then at the end of the week we add up the rewards points for the week and so she helps me do that this is what the boys started off doing until they started doing the mental math because they were so good at it and this is how we do our reward system <laughs> I just have the pages, I drew them up in the computer, I laminated them, and I hang them somewhere in the house. It's not as beautiful as I'd like it to be, but it most certainly works. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, make sure that you're subscribed if you want to see more from us, and I will see you in our next video. Bye!